Welcome back everybody. So today I've got a top three bushcraft knives video. Um, these are just kind of like really just like a top three uh, fixed blade kind of thing. Um, now these are just my top three um, of like you know production knives. Um, I've got some other knives that I forge and stuff that I could have put in here, but I kind of just wanted to keep it, like, main, you know, you guys, like, everybody has access to, so, uh, let's go ahead and jump on in. So, starting out, we got the more cansable. Um, I've got the different specs here. You've got the handle length and the blade length and everything. Um, next, we've got the SOG Ace, and then... Last but not least, we've got the Gerber Strong Arm. So, first off, we've got the Mora again. I've got these listed in the way. Um, so, like, we'll see how the Mora makes feather sticks. We'll see how the Sog makes some, and then the Gerber. So, first off, you can see the Mora. Um, fine feather sticks. You can get big feather sticks and then here i'm showing you how you can get uh real thin fine feather sticks um it has to do a lot with the grind on this knife um it's got a great grind probably the fa my favorite grind on any knife i've got it's got a little bit of like a compound grind so you've got a little bit different of a grind it seems up towards the uh, tip than you do towards the uh handle but Great carving knife. Um, here we've got the Sog Ace. So you can see it's got a different grind, so it's producing different kinds of feather sticks. Um, here I've kind of got some real small, thin ones. Now, those are pretty good for uh, starting, you know, taking spark. But um, you can see I'm kind of having trouble getting real good, long uh, feather sticks from it. So, that's just one thing. I mean, it's just the grind of the knife. Um, now, all three of these knives was um, pretty yeah. sharp. So, it's not like I'm comparing a dull knife to a sharp knife. And then, here you go. I'm kind of digging in, trying to get longer feather sticks on this one. Kind of for keeping the fire going. Okay. So, you can see it does fairly good with the feather sticks. Um, next, I've got the saw, or the uh, Gerber Strong Arm. Um, one thing I don't like about it, and this particular one, is it's got the serrations right close to the handle. So, I mean, it, me personally, I like doing, getting feather sticks real close to the handle, like with the, the first inch or so of the uh, blade. But with this one, I've kind of, I'm staying off of it. And, but you can see it makes fine feather sticks, so I really like it. And then here, I've got the Mora. You can see how quickly uh, it sparks, um, starts a fire up. It throws really nice sparks, and it didn't take no time. Um, another thing I should mention is these are all starting um, fires with the feather sticks that they made. Um, you know, if you was in like a survival situation where that's the only knife you've got, you've got to make the feather sticks with it and start the fire. Um, I want to do that. So uh, here's the uh, Sog Ace with the feather sticks it made. Uh, one thing I don't like about this Sog is it doesn't have a 90 degree spine. Now that's something that you could fix and you know make it have a 90 degree spine but it'd be kind of hard with that jimping. So uh, you've got to sacrifice your edge or, you know, you, use something else. Uh, but like I said, this is just strictly if you was out in the wilderness, had these knives, and, you know, maybe you don't have anything else. So you can see it doesn't throw nowhere near as good a spark. They're not, it doesn't seem like it's as hot. And, uh, I mean, you can see it's kind of trying to uh, start a little bit, but um, I think I should go ahead and say, too, that it's all the same piece of wood that I was using. 
Um, I'm not using drier or you know greener wood for one knife than I am the other. So um, now this one, it was taking forever. Uh, you can see still that it's not throwing very good sparks. I thought about cropping this out and making it a little bit shorter, but I wanted you guys to see that I just absolutely was not making any kind of fire with this. Um, so, you know, it kind of is what it is, and you're also using up a lot of your edge, something that you don't want to do, especially in a survival situation where you might not be able to um, sharpen your knife as good. So, <clears throat> just... It kind of really performed bad in my opinion, but um, here's the Gerber strong arm. Now it also has a 90 degree spine like the Mora. And you can see, I feel like the Mora started the fire a little bit quicker, but this still started the fire plenty fast. And see that? it really, really done good in my opinion. Um, my biggest thing about this strong arm is that it has um, that half serrated blade, which is my fault, not Gerber's. But um, here I'm doing a cut test. Now this is after I've done feather sticks and everything. So you can see the uh, Mora has kept its edge pretty good. Um, people hate on the Mora steels, but I honestly, uh, I think it's some of the best. I really like it. So there's that. Next, we have the Sog Ace. And let me cut it real quick. Yeah, you can see how much harder it is to cut. Um, now, like I said, this is after feather sticking, but I also had to use the edge for the uh, ferro rods. So it made it a whole lot harder. Um, but you can still see it's got a clean cut but the edge just wasn't there. So here with the Gerber strong arm, it's got those serrations, which is really good for cutting rope and paracord, stuff like that. And you can see it passed through it, you know, super, super clean. It's blurry there, but it was a clean cut. So there's my um, top three bushcraft knives. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you would, please subscribe, comment, leave me a like. Um, let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos, and I'll see you on the next one.